Okay. First of all, let's go into a little history of this. Whatever the plan was when we first had this, when we first found out about this AIDS thing in 1982, is basically when the country found out about it. Now, I will not sit up here and say that certain things went on um, that they, because they first put it in the homosexual community. Mm -hmm. The homosexual community. Right, right there. In the right. Community. I will say this particular much, that whatever went down in Africa and what went down in the past 13 years, other than the past 20 years, of the, uh, the past 15 years, or 14 years, from 1990 on up, has been a conspiracy that, first of all, you can't have a real sexually transmitted disease in this country and have it run rapid because that means it would get out of control to the point where as if you don't have a cure for it everybody would have been infected by now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means that in so many words that the only way that they can control something is to give you the illusion that there is this sexually transmitted disease and then kill you based on the cure. Mm -hmm. In this case, AZT, that was developed as a cancer drug that they couldn't cure cancer from and couldn't make no money off of. And as a result, they had to make money from this thing and, our, and, and AIDS was the right scare to do it. What I'm trying to say is this. In this country, nobody is dying from AIDS now. People are being controlled and people are living their lives on medication. And the medication that they're giving them, so-called, is a placebo. Mm -hmm. It's something that they just give you. You don't have AIDS in the get-go. And, 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 uh, and you take this stuff and they're paying thousands of dollars to give you medicine that you don't need because you don't have AIDS in the first place. And it all comes back down to a selection process of conspiracy to tell you that you have something that you don't have based on the AIDS test. And once your mind accepts that as the reality, it, it will create the symptoms. It will create the symptoms or it will create it will create uh, the scare. Mm -hmm. the, the, it would create the hysteria for you to go get on some type of drugs to keep you alive for the rest of your life. Now, if you're in Africa, you get on AZT and they kill you because it's all based on trying to kill off the population control. Mm -hmm. Kill off the population. But if you're in America, it's about making money. There is no AIDS. In Africa, they're killing them with, with the AIDS, AIDS medicine, which is AZT. Mm -hmm. In America, they don't kill you with AZT. They don't kill you no more. They tell you you got AIDS because you took a test that they selected you to have or uh, be a part of the conspiracy or uh, be a part of the deception to give you these expensive drugs so you could basically become uh, a become a prisoner of these expensive drugs and you gotta buy them because it's against the law when you don't buy them in the particular aspect of once they give you the AIDS test and you test positive and only, the only thing that makes you test positive is because not because you have AIDS it's because the government say this is the person I want to get some money from mm -hmm. and you test positive and once you do that you by mandate you have to take these expensive drugs and, the only, and these drugs are only being advertised in the black community. Mm -hmm. There's at least three different advertisements. One with Magic Johnson, but three other ones is advertising these drug companies talking about competing or trying to give black people the AIDS um, 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 medicine. But yet they kill them all in Africa. Now it's interesting here because we just uh, met with a shaman from Africa.
two weeks ago at the Mohouse Medical School down in Atlanta. I went to go see Charles Finch. Um, um, brought Dr. Charles Finch brought this sister from Togo, and she was a voodoo shaman, born in the voodoo tradition of the voodoo. They call it voodoo mm -hmm. tradition in Togo, which I think is Ghana is on one side of them. And what I think Nigeria or something is on the other side of Togo, or whatever I can forgot what two countries. But it's a whole, it's a whole voodoo shaman society. Anyway, this woman is highly advanced psychic, and you know what she said? She said she's yet. But when the AIDS patients come to her, that was diagnosed with AIDS, she's she always get another something another disease that can be cured but she's yet to ever find someone with AIDS that is diagnosed with AIDS it is always some other disease mm -hmm. pneumonia or something right she said but this she's never even and she's coming from the spirit world she's never so that means that if you just get it to have AIDS in Africa just means if you just get sick, period. <laughs> they call it AIDS and diagnose you that and give you AZT and kill you off. She said, but few people before they go and get killed off with the AZT, they become diagnosed with AIDS with any disease or any ailment they have. And she said she's yet to have one that was a true AIDS patient. That means it's a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. You see.